And meanwhile, Gab, Arsenal's opponent on Tuesday night in the Champions League quarterfinal first leg. Bayern Munich endured a nightmare, letting a 2 0 lead slip away against Eidenheim. Yeah, it, it's 2 0 at halftime. If you're 2 0 at halftime, if you have all these fast players, Serge Gnabry as well, yeah. getting back, you need to win the game. It's simple as. Harry Kane had a bunch of chances, didn't, cons- didn't, didn't con- only scored one, I think. Yeah. I, I think he might be carrying a knock. But the way they collapsed, they scored two goals um, within one minute in the second half. And you can look at it and go like, ha, 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 look at those weirdos, Bin J. Kim and, and, and your boy Upamecano embarrassing themselves. No, I mean, but you know on. what? When there's they no pressure defend. on the ball, anybody defend. can evolve over the top. I know, but they can't defend. Uh, no, no, all this stuff. Ah, we need a six. Yeah, we need a six in midfield. Yeah, how's your boy Limer doing as a six? This was a complete collapse. And I'll it tell was. you what, it Max was. Aberl, who they obviously they brought in from Red Bull, who has the luxury of, he only took over March 1st, so he can say, yeah, I had nothing to do with all the stupid, <laughs> crappy decisions. This is not my mess. Did you hear what he said after the game? He came out and said, like, it's not a case now of us being arrogant, saying, all right, whatever, season's gone, let's just finish second. Like, he said, like, I question whether we're even going to qualify for the Champions League next year. Now, they will I because mean, they're would seven be points clear. That would be funny. But this this tells you how serious it is. Yeah. And shout out as well to my man Kleindienst. Yeah. Two goals. Silly name, but still. Really good. Yeah, very good. Bayer Leverkusen could win the title next weekend, yes. Jules, as a result of that Bayern defeat. They beat 10-man Union Berlin 1-0 and have now gone 41 games undefeated. For context, I can I have a list of teams here. You have a list of teams. Just quickly on the game, Florian Verse with the penalty. What a season. Robin Gosen's getting himself sent yeah, off stupidly, stupidly. Very stupidly. They were so good again in this game. And Werder Bremen on Sunday at home where, you're right, a win and it's enough. For the first time ever, they would win the Bundesliga, which would be an incredible achievement. On their way maybe to a very incredible treble too. Tell me about the undefeated So, street. undefeated. Thank you for putting the list. Obviously, they are now level with the new Saints from Okay, we don't need to mention the new Saints. Why? It's, not a, it's a Welsh club. Then Ajax, 42. The great Milan team, of course, 42. Juventus, 2011, 2012, 43. Rangers, early 90s, 44. Rijeka in Croatia, if you like Croatian league, 45. Dinamo Zagreb, 45. Both of them in the mid-2010s. Mid, uh, and then the record, of course, is Benfica, 48 games and beaten yeah. So this is the post-war record where somebody yeah, comes yeah, out of the yeah, woodwork and says, you know, way back. So I think somebody went 113 games undefeated. But this so, is this since is, European yeah, this football. This is in all competition, yeah. not just in the league. Because Arsenal they can set it. 49 in they the They can league set it this season. Yeah, they can set this season. Seru Girassi scores the only goal as Stuttgart win away at Borussia Dortmund. 1-0 gap. They level on point with Bayern 9, second and third. This was what you call a messy game that got out of hand. Uh, Dortmund not wanting for intensity. They really needed to win. Uh, they didn't get it. You mentioned Schlotterbeck there. Oh At the end, he threw everything up against uh, the wall to see what would stick. It didn't work out for him. But again, shout out to Girassi. Amazing. 19 starts in the Bundesliga this season, three off the bench, and the man has scored 24 goals. That's Kane-esque. <laughs> 